Hey everybody, this is Cesar, and in today's video, I'm going to share with you uh, the process of uh, packing your guitars for such a big trip from Beijing to Miami, right? We are going to see what you can do or you have to do in your house yourself to protect your guitars. And in a second video, it's going to be two videos. In a second video, we will see the professionals finishing what I have started already. So I will share with you the do's and the don'ts, right? And in a second video, you will see how they come with wooden crates and they put the guitars in the wooden crates in order to perfectly get them ready to fly. But first, let's start with the journey, eh? the journey that my guitars have had with me, most of them, most of them. Not all of them because, you know, you have seen, I have bought the Chapman, I have bought one of the silent guitars uh, in, in Japan, eh? I bought the 2015 Gibson in, in the US, right, in New York. But most of them, especially the ones coming from coming from 94, 92, have come with me all these years, have come after me all of these years. So let's share the journey with you with a cartoon that my people in the company did for my farewell dinner. And of course the journey started in Spain. He's ready to fly too. He's already having his new haircut in order to go clean and nice to the health examination. And then he's gonna do Beijing, San Francisco, San Francisco for Lauderdale, Miami. Vende? Say hello to our friends in YouTube. Well, this is part of the crew. Uh, the guys that are gonna take care of this, uh, the name of the company is Asian Tigers. They did the one from UK to Beijing and they were really very, very good. Well, now, the process is as follows. As you see, they have put numbers in the cases, right? And the reason is because they're gonna come with three big wooden crates and they are gonna put the cases in the wooden crates depending on the size of the cases. So they came here, they measured all of them and they grouped them according to the sizes, right? And in this, in this way, eh, the guitars are gonna fly very well protected inside the wooden crates that are made basically, are, are, are like tailor made for them, right? Now, there are some guitars who don't have cases and are basically the silent guitars here and the pipa the pipa well this is the ukulele and the ukulele is also protected right uh, it's gonna fly perfectly here because it's very well wrapped inside two little gift bags and wrapped in bubble wrapping right? now the silent guitars are basically flying inside two gig bags. So this is a gig bag for a bass and inside the gig bag there is the gig bag for the silent guitar. Look at this. Let me just open it for you. So inside here is the gig bag for the silent guitar and the silent guitar is there. And on top of that the silent guitars are also wrapped with bubble wrap inside their original case. So, uh, uh, sorry, gig bag. So I let this one outside so you can see it and it's perfectly wrapped okay you see that that's what you have to do before they come it's the same case for the pipa eh, for the chinese traditional guitar let me open one for you let's take the gibson 2015 so you can see what have i done here right so you get the idea the idea is that the guitar should not move at all inside the case though it's gonna be perfectly protected with the wooden crate and they are gonna be grouped in a way that they will not move inside the wooden crate but on top of that 
you have to protect it with um, bubble wrap. It is very well protected, believe me, it does not move. So when you close the, the case, you must make sure that the puppy does not move inside. And it does. Huh? Believe me, I have some experience doing that. Now, the second thing you need to know. Your documents are important. So I have a big folder here. There are documents. And inside here I have all the proof of purchases, uh, every single document that belongs to the guitar, you know, all the candy case, etc, etc. Right? That can prove registrations, etc. That the guitars are my guitars. Because they are on a clear customs with all the books, everything, right? And they want to know if those are your guitars because there are taxes to pay etc 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 right now the idea is that this has to fly with you in the plane that you're flying right this cannot go with the guitars right? because uh, depending on the country the process of clearing customs can take from a week to two months right when i went to when, when i came to china it took three weeks when i went to egypt to egypt it took one and a half months right so they are gonna be stored in a warehouse and they may call you in order for you to show the documents so take the documents with you documents are important paperwork is important keep the invoices of your guitars please third thing you need to know you should never lock your cases because if you lock the case something like this is gonna happen to you this happened when this guitar is a Gibson 1994 flew from uh, Romania to Egypt. I locked it. I mean, unfortunately, I didn't. I mean, I don't know why because I knew, but I did. And I simply, as you see, totally broke into the case, right? Uh, because they want to know what is inside and they have all the rights. So don't lock your cases, close them but don't lock them. Fourth thing you need to know, you need to insure your guitars. You need to make sure that your guitars are insured. This is the company we are using, and uh, for that, you will also need, of course, your invoices, proof of purchases, etc. More paperwork. And number five, which is related to paperwork too, you would have to fill the required uh, request for entry of unaccompanied articles, in this case to the US, in the other cases to the different countries that I've been flying to. And, well, it's not very extensive, but you have to be very precise and you cannot make mistakes, because if you make mistakes, it's going to impact in the time you will receive your beloved guitars. All the time that the guitars are not going to be with you are going to be flying or staying in warehouses. So you have to minimize the possibility of mistakes. And that is it, guys. And I hope this has been interesting, especially if you would have to relocate in the future, uh, because really you would like to take your guitars with you. They are part of your life. In my case, they have been part of my life forever, and they have been a very important part of my professional life too. So uh, they fly with me everywhere I go, right? If I would have to make a brief summary of the main points, uh, keep in mind, one, it takes time. There's a lot of paperwork to be done. Uh, second, keep your receipts, keep everything, your documents, everything that can demonstrate that the guitar is yours. Uh, because there are countries that are pickier than others in customs. I remember that Egypt was especially picky, but well, maybe also because of the moment. Anyway, that was somehow painful. Remember, don't lock your cases and they may break into the case, right? Uh, in order to check what is inside, right? The other thing that is important is that you do your preparation you prepare your bubble wrap everything because the moving company if they are very professional like these asian tigers are they are really very good for the moment i will give them a 10 eh, for the moment let's see in the in this next move but just in case because they 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 would prepare the wooden case etc but inside what is inside the case is your call and you need to make sure that you prepare everything for them to just pack and go we will see in a second video, I would ask permission to the guys in the moving company to show you how they pack because I think it is, it is interesting. 
And up to that moment, play your guitars, have fun, and be good. Bye.